I guess it's time I end this vlog series since uh, we're, we're, we're back home, uh, which is, is good. Uh, I think you know the bus trip out was horrible. Uh, but thanks to a good friend of my daughter's uh, who worked for American Airlines, she was able to get us a, a quick and cheap flight back from Greenville uh, Air, Airport in Greenville, South Carolina to Dallas, where we rented a car and drove back to Abilene to pick up our car. And the worst part of that part was getting out of the Metroplex. It was horrible. That was on Tuesday at about three o'clock in the afternoon and did not expect the kind of traffic it was. But it was uh, it was what it was, and we finally got home, uh, whatever that is, Tuesday night. We got home Tuesday night. Uh, Anne had developed a case of strep throat while we were there. My throat was hurting Tuesday night and Wednesday. Sure enough, I have strep throat. So um, I got it caught early, I think, and they've got me on some antibiotics. I've suffered with it before. It's not hurting at all anymore. I'm having a lot of... Uh, of drainage and just still feel exhausted from the whole trip. So uh, the trip or the chemo or the cancer or something, I don't know. I just feel like I don't have any strength at all anymore. And I also to seem to have developed a cold nature. Just no matter where I am, what I'm doing, I'm cold. And that's uh, that's not very fun. But <clears throat> fact of the matter is, I'm at home. I slept better last night than I have slept in I don't know how long. It's, it was wonderful. Uh, and I appreciate all the comments you guys have given me on this. It's been fun. Uh, I, won't, I will not say I will never ride a Greyhound again. Well, yeah, I might say that. I, I would take one for a couple of hours. Uh, but uh, they advertise being associated with Flixbus from Germany. Well, if they get that over here, or at least in the places I'm going, I might see if that's a better bus. The Greyhound we were on were old and very uncomfortable. I was amazed how much more room there was in the airplane compared to on the bus. I could stretch my feet out under the seat in front of me. I couldn't do that on the bus. I had a tray table, which was not available on the bus. Uh, the, the bus did not have Wi-Fi. I mean, the, 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 the plane did not have Wi-Fi, which they told us at the beginning, it's a new plane and we haven't set it up yet, uh, which was fine. They would charge for that, and I wouldn't have used it for the two or three hours I was going to be in the air. Um, the, the Greenville Airport is marvelous. Uh, I haven't been in every airport in the world. I haven't even been in most or even most of them in Texas, but it's by far the best I have been in. Uh, Denver, Seattle, Dallas, Austin, San Antonio, Amarillo, Lubbock, Albuquerque, Phoenix, uh, LA, <laughs> LAX. Yeah, that's a case for you. So, uh, anyway. That's the end of my trip. We had a good time. It was so much fun seeing my daughter after all this. No, I don't say after all this time. It hasn't been that long since we've seen her. It seemed like the trip lasted forever, but our visit with her was very short. And uh, um, anyway, she's doing well, and that's good. We got to hear several things uh, from her church or her, her practices and even a uh, handbell practice in which she had arranged the music for. Uh, for one of the pieces, and that, and that was a lot of fun. So, farewell, folks. Now you'll hear about maybe some of my other travels later.